to Sphinx and Sands. This is going to be a playthrough of a fan-written campaign for Arkham Horror the Card Game. This campaign is available through the um, Arkham Horror Super Complete mod for Tabletop Simulator, which I'm using right here. Specifically, there's a lot of fan-written content in the side missions box um, up here. This, uh, this, this campaign can also be acquired on ArkhamCentral.com, where you can print out your own copy, and I'll uh, put a link to this campaign in the description. So the story behind this campaign, it's, uh, it's pretty mysterious. Uh, this campaign starts off with uh, Dr. Francis Morgan, um, who we know from the uh, Dunwich Legacy campaign. It turns out that um, Dr. Morgan has, has contacted our hero, Ursula Downs, and on the phone, he was extremely urgent and extremely excited, frantic, and more than a little worried. Dr. Morgan is in Egypt, and, he's dis and he has discovered that he needed an artifact from the Cabo Museum in Boston, and he asks Ursula to bring a pendant, the Eye of Horus, to them. But to use all available speed, every single hour was critical, he says. You make it to the Cabo Museum just as it is about to close and nearly devoid of other patrons. Okay, so we are jumping right into this. It looks like um, our hero Ursula here is going to be um, heading to the museum to acquire a pendant for whatever reason. And uh, I guess while we're here, I guess we can go over what Ursula is trying to do. She's trying to enter the museum. Act 1. The light is fading as you enter the museum. A few museum guards wander the halls listlessly. The museum, never one of great traffic, is nearly empty, save for a few researchers who are in the process of gathering their things. The Egyptian wing is closed, but perhaps you can figure out how to gain entry. Okay, so we're looking for the... looks like uh, Ursula is... is um, we're jumping right in. Ursula is looking for the Egyptian wing, which is closed, and we're going to need some clues in order to get in there. Okay, so I've mentioned Ursula a few times. That's right, our main character here is going to be uh, Ursula Downs, the Explorer. She felt... I mean, we, I mean, the first, the first um, scenario of this campaign involved um, taking something from a museum, and that's just, that's just classic Ursula to me. So, um, we're gonna play Ursula, and also another investigator who's um, who's popped up recently. I thought was uh, would would be uh, pretty pretty cool for this one. That's uh, Winifred Habamuk, the Aviatrix. So she's an investigator that's recently been, um, at least at the time of this recording, recently been um, shown off. Uh, it hasn't been released yet, you can see by the uh, the junky little, uh, you know, version of the card that I've managed to procure here. So um, this is going to this is gonna be kind of a test drive for this new investigator that I've never played before, Winifred. Um, she's kind of an interesting one. Um, she's, got, she's a rogue with uh, five evasion and one willpower. Very lopsided in the defensive stats there. So, um, and it looks like what she's got going on here is that if she commits two non-weakness cards to a test she can then draw a card so uh that's that's it seems like something it, it it makes you want to use skill cards but um i'm not sure it's a uh, uh, i'll show you in the deck construction um where i went with this um she has very simple deck construction rules allowing only rogue and neutral cards as well as a few um signature cards all right so let me show off the decks here Okay, so let's let's see. Ursula, her deck is is pretty straightforward, very lean, very quick. I'm uh, I'm looking at using um, very few um, cards that are not played. Um, very few cards that are not that do not re very few cards that require an action to play. Okay, in fact, the only cards that require an action for her to play are going to be fingerprint kit because it's great and I love it and put it in every deck I seem to be uh, able to. Crystal and Elder Sign, um, pretty classic Ursula. Relic boosts all her stats, including Investigation. Um, Mr. Rook, the amazing Mr. Rook, who uh, you know can help her find her stuff. And Field Work, which is pretty classic Ursula. It um, synergizes very perfectly with her ability to move and then get a free Investigate. Ursula likes to move a lot. Field Work is um, basically just designed to work when you move. And then do something. Everything else in this deck, it plays. You can play. We can play them without spending an action. Mainly the segment of Onyx to uh, assemble the pendant of the queen. We've got magnifying glasses to boost or investigate. Um, let's see. Then we've got a whole bunch of skill cards, including um, 
surprising find, which when she just lands on it while searching through her deck, hint, hint, Mr. Rook, um, it'll boost her skill checks and help her draw cards. And I've got Astounding Revelations in the in one of the in three of the event slots to, um, you know, when Mr. Rook finds an Astounding Revelation just laying there in the deck, it'll give it'll pop out of the deck and give her three resources. Um, sorry, two resources a piece. So that's six cards that are not even are virtually not even going to be in the deck because they're just going to you know, pull themselves from the deck just by looking through the deck. I've got two Mr. Rooks and I've got two copies of Practice Makes Perfect to help look through the deck and, you know, trigger these research abilities. Uh, I've got Rounding It Out with Shortcuts because Shortcuts Amazing and um, I guess a whole bunch of uh, whole bunch of skill cards here. So this deck is going to be Fast and Furious. It's going to spend very little time setting up, at least that's the plan. And I'm gonna, and Ursula is gonna be the primary clue gatherer here. You'll notice that I did not include any offense or any way to deal with bad guys except for Ursula's evasion. So this is gonna, this is gonna be interesting. Um, one thing you'll also notice is I'm starting off with eight experience. The uh, author of this scenario has recommended that the camp that you start th this particular campaign at be somewhere between seven and ten experience, which actually has me really curious because this might be like a high challenge, high XP campaign. Uh, we'll see. It's it's definitely going to be um, it's definitely going to be different because I've never played a campaign where you start specifically start with some experience under your belt. Okay, so now let's go over to Ursula. Uh, I'm using Jenny Barnes as like a placeholder for. Um, not Ursula, sorry, for Winifred here. Okay, so Winifred seems to like skill cards uh, based on her ability to, um, I guess, draw cards when you play skill cards. Um, I've leaned into it a bit, but not too heavily, I think. I think one uh, easy, just from first blush here, I think one easy trap for uh, Winifred to fall into is just overloading every skill test just to replace this, the uh, cards in her hand. Notice that how she has to commit two of them and then draw one. So that'll help her speed through her deck, but she's not netting cards out of this. She's spending cards in order to get cards. So that so that guided my, um, my selection of her skill cards to cards that do things on their own. I didn't want to um, completely load up on clones of Unexpected Courage, which aren't, which are just gonna give her a boost, but not really do much else. Unexpected Courage is great. I recommend it for every deck because it's just so useful. Um, so what I've done with Earth, what I've done with Winifred here is I'm playing I'm playing Watch This, so that way her skill cards could give her resources. I'm playing uh, Overpower because you know it it draws a card by itself and it's going to help her do some fighting because Ursula's not going to do any fighting. I've got a Perception to help her get some clues and draw more cards. Um, and then I'm also trying out quick thinking, which is just the quintessentially great rogue skill. And I'm gonna I'm trying out momentum. This seems pretty good in Winifred. So one of the one of the problems, as I mentioned earlier, is that if Winifred tries to commit two cards to a test, and then she just completely, you know, she gets a giant um, she gets this giant result, and then like draws a minus one and completely blows through the uh, the difficulty. That might be kind of a waste. So momentum is gonna help with that. Because um, if I say I play momentum on a um, an evasion test and I beat the difficulty by four, you know, or so, momentum is going to kick in and help out with its uh, echo ability, as I'm calling it. Okay, so with the rest of a Winifred, I um, I'm basically having her be the um, enemy handling specialist. We're going to have Ursula handle. We're going to have Ursula do the clues. And then we're going to have Winifred do, deal with some enemies here. So I've got Derringers. I've got Thompsons. Um, I've got a backstab because it can deal three damage and Ursula, and sorry, not Ursula, Winifred has a, um, athletics of five, you know, just starting out. And this cult vest pocket is not supposed to be cult vest pocket. This is supposed to be a, uh, this is supposed to be a card that's also not in Arkham DB just yet called Mauser C96. So this is, uh, this seems like an interesting weapon. Um, it, it's pretty basic. It does. It gives her plus one combat and deals an additional damage. And if she succeeds by a lot, she can use it multiple times in a turn. So kind of slow, but I don't know. I liked it better than um, level zero switchblade and uh, like knuckle duster and cold vest pocket, which you have to like provoke an attack of opportunity to play it to play it on the turn you want to use it. I've also got a Thompson to uh, be her big weapon. So we have six enemy killing cards here. Okay, we've also got. Um, We've got intel reports because 
they're really handy to um, discover clues at high shroud locations, which, um, you know, in case Ursula and Winifred get split up, because Ursula doesn't really, she has to just, she has to actually take a test to deal with high shroud locations, but um, Intel Report will help Winifred um, contribute in that regard. I've also got you handle this one because a uh, single point of willpower is um, can be very problematic in a in a game that includes things like frozen in fear and um, rotting remains and like yeah <laughs> and crypt chills. So um, when we do which, when we see treacheries that are very all or nothing, um, you handle this one is going to be very nice. I've got easy marks because they're great. I think they should belong and they should go in like every road deck that can take them. Um, and I'm also going to uh, really rely on pickpocketing to leverage Winifred's um, natural five in athletics to get her money and cards. So I think a combination of pickpocketing, lucky cigarette case, and lone wolf should be able to give her um, a good flow of resources and cards. Um, it may actually be too many, too many resources, too many cards, because... Um, uh, once she gets rolling, um, she doesn't actually have to use a whole lot of resources because she has so many skill cards. We'll see how that goes. And um, having thought of that, I decided to put in Leo DeLuca to be an outlet for all that money. Leo DeLuca's great. Gives extra actions. Yeah, it'll be fine. Okay, so um, Winifred has spent 7 XP on two pickpocketings, two momentums, and three easy marks. All right, so those are the decks. We've um, we've gone over the scenario. Uh Ursula and her um, pilot friend Winifred, who uh, seems to have the criminal trait, interestingly enough, are heading into the into um, where to go, the Cabo Museum in Boston, to uh, look for the Eye of Horus. Okay, so that's the decks. I've um, I've set up the museum right here. We have um, our museum entrance. We have a guard, and we have a pool of some other things. So um, I guess with that, let's uh, let's draw opening hands. Okay, here we go. Oh, one last thing I needed to do is I needed to um, seed the museum with a couple of, with one descent per investigator at galleries. So we've got a descent at the modern gallery and a descent at the medieval exhibits. Okay, so I'll set them aside. These are the ones we don't need. All right, so let's draw opening hands here. For Ursula, I think I'm looking for probably some assets like Mr. Rook. Um, to get things started. That's probably the one thing she needs. Maybe magnifying glass so she can be off to the races. Um, some search cards would be good so that way she can start searching. Yikes, it's almost like I didn't shuffle at all. All right, so I guess I'll keep one Mr. Rook. Okay, uh, deduction is good for investigating, but I really need assets, so I'll just lose all that. What have we got here? Oh, field work is good to see early. Okay, so I think her first turn is going to be Mr. Rook and Fieldwork, and then probably move. And then she'll move and take an investigate action. Seems pretty good here. Okay, over to Winifred. Okay, one, two, three, four. I think we're just looking for assets here. Ooh, Leo DeLuca, that's good to see early. But he's expensive. Okay, we'll mulligan away our um, skill cards. We've got a weapon for when that comes in handy. So, just looking for assets here. Oh, Lone Wolf. That is a good one to see right now. Okay, perfect. Okay, so Leo's going to be a little expensive at the moment, so I think I'm just going to go Lone Wolf and then, I don't know, find something else to do. Maybe draw. Yeah, if I play Lone Wolf now, we'll be down to four. Then upkeep will go to five. Then start a next turn, I'll be at six, and I'll be able to afford Leo and have a four action next turn. Okay, so these are going to be the first two plays. So I probably she's probably going to draw with her other actions. Okay, so what do we do now? What do we start with? First, we start with the museum entrance. You arrive at the museum eager to recover the artifact requested by Dr. Morgan, but also very eager to be on your way to join him. Okay, so it's one shroud, no clues. As an action, you can buy a book on the museum, spend three resources to gain a clue, limit once per game. Well, that's nice. And as a non-action, you can sprint out the, uh, the front door and be on to Cairo. Well, that's nice that it's a free action and not even an action to open the front door. Your footsteps echo off the marble floors and nearly empty halls. You wonder if staying in the museum is wise. Of course it's wise. This is where the Eye of Horus is. Okay. So let's, what do we have? We have three doom until this guy probably loses aloof. Okay, so we're gonna have to move pretty fast here. We need 12 clues. That's so many. All right, so let's start with Ursula since he has the more interesting start. We'll start with Mr. Rook. OK, 
Okay, and then we'll immediately use Mr. Rook. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna look through all nine because we want to get some of those research cards. Oh, what did I accidentally do? I don't know. And let's see what we get. Oh, there's Call of the Unknown. Get that out of the, get that on the board early. Okay, so what do we want? We didn't get any research cards. So I think I'll just start. I think I'll grab this Eureka. Now let's grab a deduction so we can get the. Uh, well, that's a practice card, so maybe I want to save that for practice makes perfect. Yeah, let's go for Eureka so I can keep the research going. Okay. All right, there we go. Okay, so first action we played Mr. Rook. We got a Eureka and our Call of the Unknown. Fortunately, Call of the Unknown triggers at the beginning of her turn, so it's not going to harm us until next turn. Um, let's go second action play field work. Okay, and third action, let's move somewhere. Eeny, meeny, miny, mm. Okay, we can't go there at all, so these are pretty much the same. So, now we'll go to the Greco-Roman Greco -Roman exhibit. All right, third action, we'll move to the Greco-Roman exhibit. The alabaster white of the statues give a faint sheen and glow in the darkness of the hall. Okay, what do we have here? There are six clues here. Oh, that's a lot. Okay. Okay. As an action, you can uh, gain a point of intellect until the end of the turn. Grand statues carved out of marble decorate this large hall. Wild thoughts of Medusa slithering just around the corner torture your psyche. Perhaps reading some of the history behind the works will calm you. Ah, thus the action. Okay, so Ursula gets her bonus action to investigate. So right now, um, we'll use field work. So we're going to be at six versus four. Let's uh, play Eureka to go to seven versus four. Minus four. Okay, so that's a failure. Okay, so that was, yep, that was all of Ursula's actions. Oh, lost that Eureka. That's no good. Okay, well, I guess I could have put in Perception, but oh well. All right, over to Winifred. All right, we're definitely going to play this Lone Wolf so we can get that rolling. Okay. So not much, we don't want to spend any more money because we want to save it for Leo DeLuca. So I think I'll go second action draw. Oh, there we go. That's perfect. All right. Third action, play easy mark. Two resources and a card. Okay. All right. So now we can forward. You'll be able to forward stuff next turn. Okay. So that was a pretty uneventful turn for Winifred. All right. The hunter stays where he is because he's watching Winifred like a hawk. And now we go to upkeep. Okay. Card and resource. Okay. So perceptions, that'll help us get some cards. Over here, card and resource. Also perceptions. Oh man, look at all these perceptions we have. We are ready for the museum. All right, so one doom out of three, and let's see what we get. Knocked over. Okay. Test combat at three. If you fail, take a damage. One minute it was on the wall. The next it was tumbling right at me. Oh dear. Well, we're probably going to fail this. So, oh, we take a damage. That's not so bad. Or rather, Rook does. He bumps into something, I guess. Over here, we've got Choose, Surge Peril. Choose one investigator to draw all the remaining encounter cards this phase, then draw and re resolve them one by one. Choose one investigator to draw all the remaining encounter cards this phase. Oh, that, I guess that would include the Surge. But choose them as the target, then heal a horror. That's a weird one. Sorry, not sorry. Okay, so we'll have her do I want to... I could have Ursula take the encounter card? Sure. Okay. So we'll have Ursula draw the last encounter card from the Surge. It moved. Test willpower at three or intellect at three. If you fail, take two horror. Okay. So we'll start off by using Mr. Rook. Okay. Let's see what we find. Oh, we get an astounding revelation. I can't... Ah. 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 Do I need the money or the secret? Yeah, I think I need the money. Okay. And what'll I grab with it? Ooh, Crystal Elder Sign for sure. Get those stats boosted. Okay, that's good. Okay, so if I fail this, I'm going to take two horror. And I guess we'll put one on Mr. Rook and one on Ursula. It seems fine. Okay, so we're going to be at we're going to test intellect at four versus three. Um, let's 
put in perception. So we'll be at six versus three. S failure. Okay, so we take a horror, and Mr. Rook takes a horror. Yikes, man, that's two minus fours in our first two pulls. Let's uh, give that bag a. Let's make sure that bag's okay. I mean, there's only one minus four in there, right? Yeah. Okay. So that was all our encounter cards. So now let's get started. Okay, Ursula. I guess we can have her move over and go see the descent. So we'll go first action, Crystal and Elder Sign. Okay, and actually, let's have let's have Ursula go second because she's going to seal the. She's going to be sealing the plus one. All right. So Winifred, what do we need to do? I guess we'll get out Leo Luluka for sure. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now she has three actions left. Just as a reminder, we'll do that. And we'll remember to trigger Lone Wolf. Okay. So that was action one of four. We have three left. So I'm thinking we'll just head over this direction. Yeah, that seems seems reasonable. We could play Perception if we need to uh, look for a clue. Okay, second, act, second of four actions, we move to the Renaissance Gallery. Hung in frames, paintings of the faces of the long dead stare unblinkingly into the shadowed alcoves. Okay, so there, there are four clues here. Shroud three. And as an act, you can pilfer. Test and elect at two. Collect one resource for every number you ex for every one you exceed by, maximum four. Limit one per success per game. The sparse light casts long shadows on the works of Bellini, Botticelli, Tintoretto, and Da Vinci. You know some of these paintings are extremely valuable, but which ones? Ah, thus the intellect test, not the athletics test. So since Winifred needs some resources and is rubbish at getting clues, I think I'll have her actually do some pilfering instead of some investigating. So if I investigate, I'll be at five versus two if I use this perception. Kind of like this plan. Minus two. So we succeed by one. So I managed to get a resource out of this. Aw. Well, that didn't work out so well. well I can draw a card off perception and I get a resource. Okay, so that didn't really work out all that great. All right, third action. Let's see. I can investigate some more. I can arm up. Yeah, arming up seems good. Third action, I'll arm up. Fourth action. Let's head to the modern gallery. We'll let Ursula handle these. Or I can take a resource. Nah, let's go protect Ursula here. That's what we'll do. Explore the modern gallery. Now let's 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 stick to the plan. We'll uh, we'll split up because I could have just moved to the uh, Greco Roman exhibit in the first place. All right, modern gallery. Cans of soup and splatters of paint attest to our cultural progress. Okay, there are two clues here. Oh, that's not so bad. Only two clues, and only two shroud. For a time, you lose yourself in the blocks of color. Okay, spend two actions to unwind and heal a horror. We also have a Dasant here who is aloof, and when you engage the Dasant, flip its card to the other side. A guide to the museum lounges on a bench, soaking in a favorite piece of the collection. Perhaps they could help. Okay, so maybe we'll have her um, go go engage the Dasant next turn. Okay, so we went move, try to pilfer, don't do so well, um, play Derringer, and move to the modern gallery. Okay. So now over here, we have three actions. Let's see. I think we're going to go first action, Crystal and Elder Sign. OK, so we're going to go seal the plus one. OK, whoops. Shuffle the bag. All right, so that is Shroud 4. What are we at? We'd be at four, five versus four for this. Seven versus four if I use Perception. It's probably worth it. Okay. First action, play Perception. So now we're going to be, oh, wait, we need to do Call of the Unknown. So we'll name here for Call of the Unknown. I don't know what Shroud that is, but I'm going to have team, I'm going to have field work for it. Okay, so I think I'm okay doing what I was up to here. First action, I'll investigate where I am. I'll be at four, five, six, seven versus four. Uh, zero, so I succeed, get a clue and a card off of perception. Oh, that's nice to see. Okay. Second action. 
I could take a resource so that way I can use practice makes perfect. Third action move, freebie investigate. Yeah, we'll just go for it. Okay. Second action, move to the medieval exhibit. Peering into the room, in your head you hear the thunder of hooves and clash of steel in your mind. Okay, there are two clues here. Okay, that seems pretty decent. And only two shroud. And as an action, you can arm yourself. Spend, uh, sorry, gain three combat until the end of your turn if you do not have a weapon equipped. You may not equip a weapon this turn. Oh, I see. So you like pull something off the wall and you know, just smash someone over the head. Light glistens off of armor and instruments of death. Glistens in a beckoning way. Wow, that makes sense. Okay, so that was our second action. I'll trigger field work. And I'll investigate at 7 versus 2. That's pretty good. That's a minus 2, so that'll be a success. First action, second action move. Okay. Okay, so I can engage the Dasant in order to see what their ability is, but what if it what if it decides to attack me or something? So that would be kind of bad. So I think what I'll do is third action. I'll just investigate again at 5 versus 2. Then I'll worry about the Dasant next turn. Oh, that's nice. So I get this clue. Do I want to move back to the Greco-Roman exhibit? I actually don't want to. I'd rather save that for um, using uh, Call of the Unknown next turn. Okay, so that was all our actions. Hunters. Let's see, he has no prey instructions, so we'll have him chase after the shady Winifred over there. And now we'll go to upkeep. Okay, card resource. Oh, that's nice to see for dealing with that four shroud location. And what do we have over here? Card and resource. Momentum. Okay. That'll be handy to combine with Unexpected Courage. Okay. New turn. We have two Doom out of three. And now we'll go to Encounter Cards. Tricks of Shadows. Test Willpower at four. If you fail, take a horror. Okay. So it might be Mr. Rook's time to uh, go to the discard pile. I'll start by using his last, um, his last charge to look at the top nine cards. Okay, what do we get? Oh, there's our other weakness. Okay, did we find any? Oh, we did find. Do I want resources or do I want surprising find? Let's see. I think I'll take resources at this point. Okay. Yeah, that's that seems like a good idea. Get some resources. So I, I can afford magnifying glass and I can afford practice mix perfect to keep the chain going. Okay, and now I get to pick a card. I think I'll take a second, Mr. Rook. Or it might be Jake's turn to do some soaking. Let's go with... Let's see, I'm going to spend two resources on those, so I'll be down to one. So it'll be a little while before I can play Mr. Rook again. So let's go for this Eureka. Okay. Okay, now we're going to take our willpower test at four versus four. I could try boosting with Practice Makes Perfect. No, all my Practice Makes Perfect targets are mostly for investigating. I could put in this Eureka, and then I'd be at five versus four. Not so great, so I'll just take it on the chin. Minus two. Okay, so that's a failure. We'll let Mr. Brook hit the discard pile. Okay. So he, uh, I guess he gets tricked by the shadows. Over here, we've got False Lead. If you have no clues, it gains Surge. Okay. So we'll do that. Ah. Swarm of rats. Okay, well, we'll just step on them or something. It doesn't seem too bad. All right, so let's, um, I guess if that's the case, let's start with Winifred. We have four actions now. So first action, well, gain Lone Wolf. First action, we'll step on some rats at three versus one. Seems fine. Ooh, that is a minus three. You can take a horror to treat as a zero, put it back in the bag, and draw again. <sighs> uh, yeah, it's fine. Okay. I'll take the horror. Okay. I can always um, spend actions to unwind later. Okay. Second action. Um, so this is the same test. Zero. Okay. So we deal with the rats. All right. That was first action. Now what? Let's, we can either investigate here or engage the Dosant. Let's see what the Dosant has, has for us here. What do we got? She exuded serenity. You try to work up the will to disturb it. Okay, so we can parlay with her at, um, 
Intellect plus willpower at six. If you succeed, take two clues from the supply. Limit one success per game. Oh, I see. So she would have she would be testing at four versus six. I could get up to five, four, five, six. I can only get one over, even if I put everything into it. It's probably not worth it. Yep, this is this seems like a job for. Uh, let's maybe this seems like a job for um, Ursula. Maybe we'll have uh, Winifred walk over and, uh, you know, have Ursula meet the Dasant. That seems like a decent plan. Okay, so that was second action. We have two actions left. I could grab these two clues. I'd get three versus two to do that. Yeah, it doesn't seem too bad. Another possibility is I can put um, all these cards into it. If I put all th all the if I put f these all these pips into it, I'd be at what four, f five, six, seven, eight, and well, yeah, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine versus six. Yeah, and then maybe I could trigger momentum. Use that on my last skill test. Yeah, let's go for it. Okay, so we're gonna put all these into it. Okay. Actually, I got a better idea. Let's let's do this in the correct order. We'll put these in, we'll put these two in. Okay, so now we're at four, five, six, seven versus six. Trigger Winifred to draw a card. Ooh, here we go. Let's do nine. Yep, there we go. Now we're at nine versus six. Oh, all that for a tentacle. Great, great. That was our third action. Uh, I guess fourth action, I'll investigate. Three versus two. Nope. Okay. Yeah, this bag is not good. We've just been getting minus threes and minus fours and one zero. Yuck. Okay, so over to Ursula. We've also got a descent here. All right, so we'll name the Greco-Roman exhibit for Call of the Unknown, so I need to spend at least one action getting back there. Okay, I've no Mr. Rook now. So we're going to go first action, engage the descent. See what we got here. OK, men in newsboys hats are always a little dodgy. Slipping into a mischievous frame of mind, you step up and say hello. OK, so we can test our intellect and athletics at six. If you succeed, take two clues from the supply. OK, so we're at eight versus eight, nine, ten versus six for this guy. It seems pretty good. OK. Second action, I'll parlay, 10 versus 6. Success, so I get two clues from the supply. Okay. Third action, move. Okay, trigger Ursula. We're going to play this magnifying glass for um, as a fast action. So use field work. We are now at 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 versus 4. I'm not even gonna not gonna even use Eureka. Let's see. I might use Practice Mix Perfect to try to grab a. Um, yeah, I think I will. I'll use Practice Mix Perfect to try to go for like a deduction. Okay, so we look at the top nine. Yep, there's a deduction. Okay, so I grab this deduction with Practice Mix Perfect, and I get to trigger a research card. Do I want the resources? Now let's go for surprising find. Okay, so that's just going to hang out for a little while. Yep. Okay, so we are at four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine versus four. Okay, good stuff. Okay. Minus four because it's her last action. Jeez, this bag is punishing. Okay, so we we succeed, so we get two clues. Okay. And we draw this deduction into our hand. Pretty sweet little combo there. I like it. Okay, so how many clues do we have? We need 12 and we're up to seven. So we're making decent progress so far. Seven, okay, if I go eight, nine, 10, I just need two more, probably from this descent in order to advance. So we're going to go these three because of the victory point, and then I guess we need two more from either here, here, or this descent. Okay. 
that's all our actions. That's correct. So hunters, uh, we'll have this guy follow Winifred, Winifred around, and then we'll go to upkeep, card and resource. Okay, another magnifying glass. All right, what do we got here? Card and resource. Ooh, backstab. All right, new turn. Three out of three, so we're gonna advance. Uh oh, this guard's probably gonna lose aloof and engage Winifred. All right, so we advance. What happens? Closing time. The last of the visitors have now left the museum and melted into the jostling crowds of Beacon Hill. You hear the thud of doors being closed and the snap of locks being thrown. You are no longer visitors in the museum. You are now intruders. Okay, remove the trait aloof from the museum guards. Oh, and remove all dasants from the game. Oh, I was hoping to chat up that one dasant to get some help. Okay, it looks like we're going to have to... Um, move a bunch of cards around so i will arrange that and i'll be right back okay so we've set things up for agenda two the main things that happen is that the the docents go um i guess all leaf the night the um the museum guards lose aloof oh that means they're gonna engage this one's gonna engage winifred here and what else happens we've um the encounter deck has gotten a lot creepier we have things like mysterious chanting acolytes and assassins now well, let's go over to Agenda 2, the locked museum. Even the hushed sounds of other visitors in the museum are now gone. The museum, ever somewhat dim, is now cloaked in shadow. You can make out the irregular footsteps of the guards along with their occasional mutterings. It may just be your nerves, but you think you can make out quiet echoes of others. You remember now that Dr. Morgan did say something about you did say something about how you may not be the only ones after this relic. Okay, so there are there are baddies stalking the halls now okay so we have 11 doom before things get worse and now we'll draw encounter cards starting here what do we got a golem oh dear spawns of the greco-roman exhibit is that where we are now that is where we are now okay this guy's nasty he's got six hit points the statue comes alive the statue come alive glared balefully at me my blood ran as cold as the rock from which it was made Oh gosh. Well, fortunately, he's pretty easy to evade. And we'll let. Does he hunt? He does not hunt. That is good to know. Okay, what do we have for Winifred? Mysterious Channing. Place two new in the nearest cultist. There are none. Search the encounter deck and discard pile for a cultist. Okay, we're going to go find a cultist now. Okay, what are our options? We have acolytes. We have assassins. Yeah, no thanks. Um, we have brigands. Also, no thanks. That is three hit points. So I guess we'll just uh, keep take it easy. Go with a regular old acolyte. Okay. And we get to spawn him at an empty location. Well, we'll put him here so that way um, Ursula, I mean uh, Winifred, can just run into him. Get to doom. Okay. So what do we need to do? Ursula needs to um, evade this golem, I think and deal with her call of the unknown, probably by investigating over here. So Winifred needs to take out this museum guard and take out this acolyte, I think. Okay, so because of that, let's start with Winifred. She triggers Lone Wolf. All right, he has three health, so I think we're gonna need to use backstab on this guy. One, two, one, two three. Okay, I use backstab, so I'm gonna be at five versus no, five versus three, that's right. Five versus three will burn the Mauser to be at six versus three. Success, okay, so we deal three damage to him. And then we put a set aside guard's flashlight into play at your location and may add it, she may add it to her hand as a fast action. Okay, so she can pick up his flashlight after bonking him over the head with a piece of modern art. So let's grab that flashlight. Okay, grab one of them. Okay. Oh, it's a fast, basically a fast flashlight. Okay, that's nice. So we'll just put it right into play with a supply on it. Okay. That was our first action. So I could just grab a clue. Third action move, fourth action take out this acolyte. I actually kind of like this plan. That seems useful. All right, so second action, we'll use the flashlight to investigate at three versus zero. Okay. Failure. Okay. Um... Third action, move over here, engage this acolyte. Fourth action, we'll shoot the acolyte with our derringer. So we're gonna be at five versus three. Minus three. Great. Uh, 
They take a damage to treat as a zero and draw again. Okay, I'll do that. Leo takes a damage, put it back in the bag, draw again. Six, super success. Okay, what does this mean? After this test ends, for every two points you succeeded by, return a card you committed to this test to your hand. Okay, well, we didn't commit anything, so fortunately, this guy is dealt with. All right, that was all four of Winifred's action. Backstab, investigate, move, uh, shoot. Okay, Ursula, she needs to evade this guy. We're going to name here for Call of the Unknown. So we're going to evade, move, and investigate, I think. Okay, so we'll start by evading. We're going to be at five versus two. Feels pretty good. Uh, we get to commit. We commit the surprising find. Okay. Minus two. That's a success. So we get a card off of surprising find. Okay. And he is evaded. Okay. That was our first action. Okay, we'll save the deduction for here because that's the tough location. So I think I'll just move into there and grab some clues. Okay. Second action, move. Okay, so we're gonna so if we investigate here, we're gonna be at six versus three. That feels pretty good. Um do I wanna put in the Eureka? Yeah, I think I do, so I can keep the research going. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, put in Eureka. Oh, and put in field work. Okay, so we're gonna be at let's actually save that Eureka for the third action. Okay, so second action move, trigger field work. We're gonna be at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight versus three. Minus three, that's a success. We get this clue. And we hold off the call of the unknown. Okay. Third action. I think I'll investigate again at six versus three. Now I'll put in Eureka to be at seven versus three. Success. Get a clue and trigger Eureka. Okay, so we're gonna look at the top three cards. One, two, three. Okay, oh, we got a surprising find, that's nice. And do I want another field work or do I want to start the segment of Onyx? Mm. Let's go with the segment of Onyx because it's cheaper and fast. Okay, so that stays there. Okay, so that is all our actions. Okay, so now we um, refresh. What do we got? Card and resource. Ooh, another segment of Onyx. Okay, two of three. And card and resource. Okay, so we've got into our ports. We just need resources. New turn. One doom out of 11. Okay, here we go. Okay, rats. Winifred can take care of those. And what do we got? Rats. She can take care of those. Okay, so. I'm guessing we'll have Winifred go first. She won't get to trigger Lone Wolf. Oh, we're going to need to deal with this guy because he is in our way. Yep, he is in our way. He's got six hit points. Okay, so I have some options. If I have Ursula go first, I could have her step on rats, then move over here. Oh yeah, but then this guy's in the way. All right, so I think we'll have Winifred clear out the rats. All right, first action, she doesn't get the lone wolf. Do I shoot the rats? I won't shoot this one. I'll shoot that one because I don't want to hit. I don't want to hit Ursula, so I'll go first action, shoot. Go. So we're at five versus one. Nice. Okay, they are dealt with. Second action, we'll step on this rat at three versus one. Failure. Third action, try again. Failure. Unless I take a horror. Fine, I'll take a horror. Ah. Success. Okay, that rat's dealt with. So that was our third action. Fourth action. Well, I don't want to move into here. Let's see. Do I want to. I don't really want to investigate either. So what are we at clue wise? We're at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, up oh, 10, 11, 12. Those are our three clues that we're. We that we're looking for. We don't need so we don't need these clues and we don't need those clues. So I guess last action, take a resource so that way we can afford the Thompson. All right, now Ursula, she needs to move into here. She needs to investigate to hold off the call of the unknown, and she needs to evade. So that's going to be move, evade, invest. Move, evade, investigate. That's two actions. Okay. Third action could be play Jake. All right, here we go, because Jake's ability 
will mean that she can move in and investigate without investigate each turn you does not provoke tax of opportunity move or investigate oh that's only will that only protect her when she moves okay not as good as i thought because if i moved in and i tried to investigate that would provoke jay could only protect her from when if she started the turn off with the guy which is going to happen to be honest next turn she's going to start off with the guy all right, so I think I'm gonna have to play Jake anyway. Oh, it's action. So if I shortcut into there, it won't be the action, and then she'd be able to investigate without provoking. So if I go first action Jake, shortcut in, investigate, I'd still have two actions left. One to evade. Next one seems pretty decent. Okay, we'll do that. First action, play Jake. Shortcut. Okay, we move in. All right. Now we're gonna trigger Ursula. Well, we're gonna trigger Ur trigger field work. Trigger um, Ursula. Now we'll investigate without provoking. So this guy is engaged. Okay. First move or investigate action you perform. That's going to be this action. Okay. Okay, so we're investigating. We're going to be at 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 versus 4. Okay. I won't put in deduction just yet. 9 minus 3, that's a success. So I get a clue and a card from Surprising Find. Okay. All right, so first action, Jake, we've done shortcut. We still have two actions left. Okay. Third action, let's evade. We're going to be at five versus two. Draw again. Uh-oh. Okay, that's going to be a failure because that's going to be a minus one. And then we lose an action because we drew a skull. Oh, no. So we fail and then we lose our last action. That's awful. That is awful. Okay, so what happens here? That's the end of our end of all our actions. We've held off the call, but now we're about to take three damage and a horror. Okay, so one horror, we'll go we'll put two damage on Jake and one on Ursula. Yeah, that's just how it's going to have to be. All right, now we'll do upkeep. Okay. Okay. Now we need a little more money to be able to start shooting this guy. All right, new turn. We're at two doom out of 11. Oh, and we've got a museum guard for our troubles, making things making matters worse. It moved. Okay, so we're going to make a test, and if we fail, take two horror. Well, we'll just take it at three versus three then. Oh, that's a failure. So we take two horror. Yeah, that was that was not gonna happen. This bag is really nasty. So yeah, succeeding that, not very good. Okay. So what do we need to do? I think we're gonna have to have Winifred go first. She can go, f she gets Lone Wolf. I wanna play that Thompson. I can go first action move, second action shoot the golem, third action play Thompson, fourth action shoot the golem again. <sighs> That's not enough to take him out though. I don't have the bullets to do it. I also have this guy to worry about. He's even tougher to deal with. I guess I can just shoot him twice, this guy. Yeah, I don't see a lot of other options here. Yeah, because Ursula's in some trouble, unless I get rid of something. All right, well, well, here we go. First action, move to come help. Okay. Threes and fours. All right, here we go. Second action, we will shoot the museum guard. 
So right now we're at five versus three. Pitch in momentum to go to six versus three. heaven's sake. Okay, so Ursula takes a damage and a horror. So I guess she just... Great. You can engage and evade. Yeah, seems fine. Third action, engage. Fourth action, we'll send him home for the night. That's what we'll do. Okay, so we remove him from the game. She kills her resources, but yeah, that will just take care of the problem. Okay, Ursula. Okay, so we're gonna we can move away dragging him because that's not gonna provoke. No, I don't want to do that. Okay, so first action we'll have Ursula. We'll name here. Yeah, that seems like decent plan. Yep, we'll name here with um, Call of the Unknown. First action, evade. We're going to be at 5 versus 2. Success. He's evaded. Okay, that's good. Second action, move. Yep, do I want to trigger field work for this one? Second action, move. Third action... Yep, gonna have to. Trigger field work, so we're gonna be at four, five, six, seven, eight versus three to investigate. That's a success. Get that clue. Okay. Third action. I don't need this clue. I want these two. So there's no reason to investigate again. Let's go. Take a resource. Yeah, that means next turn we can do things like Mr. Rook. Okay, so we've we've held off the call. Okay, so that's all our actions. Um, no hunters. Then during upkeep, this guy is gonna engage Winifred, which is fine. She has five of eight. It'll be it'll be okay. All right, cards and resources. Okay, not what I wanted to see, but there we go. Card resource. Oh, that's nice to see. Yeah. New turn. We've got a three doom out of eleven, and let's see what we get. Knocked over? Oh dear. So if we fail this, we take a damage and a horror. Okay. Well, not much I can do about that. So I'll be testing at one versus three. Yep, that's a failure. Oh, draw again and subtract one from the result. Yep, we fail and lose an action. Okay, so we're going to lose Jake here. And we have two actions left. Over here, what do we have? Echoing footsteps. Okay. Someone's nearby. Be still. All right, we're going to have to take this one on the nose. Success, so we don't have anything bad happen to us. Okay, that's good. So Ursula has two actions. I think she's going to... At least one of them is going to be moving into here. She'll take a free investigate. And then I'm not sure. She might advance, actually. Yeah, oh, that's what she'll do. She'll play Mr. Rook with her first action. She'll move with her second. Okay, so we're going to have Winifred go first. Trigger Lone Wolf. We need to evade this guy. Yeah, that part's pretty obvious. First action, evade at five versus two. Success. Okay, he's evaded. Okay, so we're going to have to dance with this guy until we can afford a weapon. Let's see how we're doing on clues. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So Ursula's gonna get the last two over there and then we'll be able to advance. So I guess we can just have Winifred hang out and draw cards. Second action draw. Third action draw. Fourth action draw. Seems, okay, that's good. We'll have another weapon there coming up soon. Okay, over to Ursula. We have two actions. We'll spend one of them playing Mr. Rook. Okay, give him three secrets. Okay, then we'll use him and look at the entire deck. Okay, oh, we got an astounding revelation, which I'll use to take resources. Okay, what do I need? Ooh, I can line up Pen to the Queen right now. 
It's tempting. Yep. I'll get ready for Pendant of the Queen. Okay. All right, so that was first action. Second action, move over to the Greco-Roman exhibit. Okay. Whoops, now we'll exhaust field work. Okay, so now we're going to be investigating at four, five, six, seven, eight, and let's scoop these up. So we'll go nine versus four. Okay, six, okay, success, that's good. So we get both of these clues, and we hold off Call of the Unknown. Okay, so we have enough clues to advance. We just need to spend an action to do it. So we'll do that next turn. Okay, so that's all our actions. Now we'll go, we have no hunters, so we'll go to upkeep. We'll have this guy engage, uh, we'll have, her, have him engage one of red. Okay, and now we'll go to cards and resources. Yeah, let's do it. Card resource, okay. Card resource. Okay, so we're both at full here. New turn. We're at four doom out of 11. And let's see what kind of bad stuff we get. Ooh, just when things are getting, just when we were about to, uh, just when, now we've got an assassin on top of a golem. This guy's rough. Four, two, five. Oh, spawns at the location of the investigator with the most clues. Oh, that's here. Okay, so I guess we could decide who deals with them. I think we're going to have um, Winifred shoot him, so I think I'll uh, have him stay with Ursula. And an acolyte. Well, we're going to be heading this way, so I'll put that acolyte there. Okay. Okay, what do we need to do? We need to evade this guy and shoot this guy. Winifred needs some money to, I guess, one more coin. Oh, well, she's going to get that from Lone Wolf. No, she won't because Ursula's right there. Great. So, well, we're still going to have, still gonna have Winifred go first. I think we kind of have to. We'll start with evasion at five versus two. Let's try for quick thinking. So we'll go to six versus two. Totally not the time we needed another tentacle. Okay. That was first action. Second action, try again. Minus two, so that's a success. Uh, now I don't have enough money to shoot the... To, I don't have enough money to play the Mauser and shoot. Huh. Um, I can try to punch him twice. No, that's not going to work. I can evade him. Third action evade, fourth action evade. I gotta play. I gotta get this, these weapons on the board. Okay, so third action take a resource. Fourth action play Mauser. Okay, so I can actually toss that toss that into the bin. Fourth action play Mauser, so I can actually shoot this guy. So he has this has five ammo. All right, that's Winifred. Ursula. Got this guy to deal with. I wanted to advance too. We have too many baddies on the board. Could be Pendant of the Queen time. That'll help. Oh, where did my Pendant of the Queen go? Well, let me make a new copy of it. Okay. Yeah, I can auto evade him with Pen to the Queen. That seems like not a bad plan. Okay, so I'll play my three segments of Onyx as fast actions. Okay, and then trade them in for a Pen to the Queen. Okay. All right, let's automatically evade this guy. Okay, so I haven't spent any actions yet. Let's use Mr. Rook. Okay, and see what we get. Now seems like the time for, I mean, I guess I could play, pra eh, I don't need practice mix perfect anymore. I could play shortcut. Yeah, let's play shortcut. So that way we can um, shove um, Winifred away from this mess right here. 
Okay, let's do that. So this is all without actions. First action will advance. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So many clues. Okay, what happens when we advance? Deeper into the museum, you work your way into the Egyptian wing. You hope you are in time and hope that you will now be able to continue undisturbed, but you sense a new feeling of dread and malevolence. Remove impassable from the hieroglyphs. Okay, so we've found our way into the, the um, Egyptian wing. Okay, so we're gonna have to um, set up a board here. So I'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. We have set up our Egyptian wing of the museum here. Our Egyptian wing consists of a Egyptian culture room, a sarcophagus room, an artifact room, and I guess a back door to the outside. Oh, that's supposed to be like that. Okay, there we go. And let's see what we have to do here. Exploring the Egyptian wing. Having gotten into the enclosed Egyptian wing, you set your sights on acquiring the Eye of Horus. Although Dr. Morgan described it to you, with his hurried manner, your image of it is incomplete. Hopefully examining the other pieces in the Egyptian collection will give you a better idea. Okay, so we need to collect eight clues, um, and they're specified as Egyptian lore clues. And how that works is that clues from these four locations are the Egyptian lore clues. So I'm guessing what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to slide on into, I'm guessing, these three sections of the Egyptian wing and get eight clues in order to advance. Okay, one thing to note about... Um, the flip over to uh, Act 2 here is that the encounter deck has changed pretty significantly. We don't have any more museum guards, we don't have alarms, we don't have their echoing footsteps, but instead we have things like crypt chill, dissonant voices, and frozen in fear. So I guess uh, we're going to the, the creepy wing of the museum. Okay, so where were we? We spent an action to advance. Winifred's already spent all of her actions, so um, let's see. As I was mentioning, we can use shortcut to send to get Winifred out of this mess. That seems like a good idea. She has her mouser to be able to attack, I'm guessing the assassin. But now I'd, I'd rather she not have to deal with both of these at once. Okay, so we'll play shortcut to send Winifred into the hieroglyphs. All right, what do we got here? Okay, there are four clues here. Even though, well, these clues aren't gonna matter so much because we need we need uh, Egyptian wing clues. Let me double check that. Is that correct? What is the way of set of eyes on Okay, track these clues separately as Egyptian lore clues. Okay. Okay, what do we got here? Forced. When this location is revealed, the investigator who revealed it must either test willpower at four, take a horror per each point they fail by, or take three damage and move to an adjacent location. Oh, yuck. And if any investigator ends their turn at this location, they take one horror. Okay, so this is going to engage her. Okay, and then we have to either take three damage or take a willpower test. Well, I've got some horror on me already, so I'll just take the three damage then. That is a lot, and I guess we get a free move out of it. So let's scoot over to sarcophagus room, culture room. Let's do the sarcophagus room. Let's see what's up there. It's kind of the central hub. Okay, so she gets a free move over to the sarcophagus room. Approximately a dozen, a dozen sarcophagi fill the room. Some are cracked open, showing that they are only an empty vessel of their intended purpose. Okay, so we've got four clues here, and it's worth a victory point, so that's nice. And when you enter or begin your turn at this location, you may test agility at three. If you pass, you get two intellect for this turn while investigating, and if you fail, you lose two intellect for this turn while investigating. Sarcophagi and mummies filled the room. Some stood against the wall, some laid on the ground, their lids half open. All seem precipitously balanced. Oh, I see. So, I see. You test athletics in order to, I guess, weave your way into the sarcophagi without disturbing them. That makes sense. Okay, so maybe this, so maybe uh, next turn Winifred can, um, can be making these tests in order to uh, boost her intellect to actually uh, contribute to this investigation here. All right, so with Ursula, I remember that I had um, chosen the hieroglyphs as the location for Call of the Unknown, so I'm going to have to investigate there. All right, we still have two actions left. All right, what do we got here? Okay, we've got that guy. So I'm thinking we'll move into the hieroglyphs, get our free investigate, and then we have another action left. Let's see, I don't have any resources. Probably just move and join. Maybe, no, nah, I'll wait till next turn to move and join um, Winifred. So I think I'll just go, yeah, I'll just go second action, move. 
Okay, take Ursula's free investigate. We're going to be at six versus two, and I'm not planning on making any more tests, so I'll use field work. So be at eight versus two. Okay, that's a failure. All right, so we're looking at two horror unless we take our third action to investigate again, this time at six versus two. Uh, that's a success. So we get a clue. So this one's not going to matter, so I'll just set these two clues aside. And we hold off the call of the unknown. Okay, so that's all our actions. Let's reset everything. We have no hunters to hunt, but we have this guy to deal a damage to Winifred. Okay, now we go to cards and resources. First we, we're going to refresh these fellas. Card and resource. Card and resource. Ooh, quick thinking, that's handy. Okay. Refresh and new turn. So what are we at here? We are at five, six doom out of 11. And we'll get encounter cards. Oh, hello, what do we got here? A brigand. Investigators at brigand's location cannot gain resources by any means. Resources that would be collected go onto brigand. When brigand is defeated, all resources on it go to the investigator defeated it. Okay. She's also dealing with damage. All right, so we have to work with that. What do we got here? Choose. Choose one investigator to draw all the remaining encounter cards this phase. Okay, if you're not the lead, but choose them as the target heal of horror. Okay, so she'll choose Ursula to draw the surge, and she'll heal a horror as a result. So Ursula's gonna take this. What do we got? Frozen fear. Okay, well, I'm glad Winifred doesn't didn't have that. Okay, so this is actually gonna be kind of difficult because she's got a baddie and no way to really deal with the baddie. It's also got four agility, four evasion difficulty of four which is quite a lot. I may have to use Pen and the Queen on it. Okay, so my goal now actually is to use Pen to the Queen quickly as possible so I can shuffle in the three segments into a small deck so that I can redraw them very quickly. Um, so what, I, what that means is I don't want to be using Mr. Rook to make my deck even smaller because I don't want it to run out before the pendant runs out. Okay. So what do we need to do here? Well, Winifred definitely needs to um, take down this Acolyte. We've got this guy coming up this way, okay, which is rough because Ursula needs to get out of the way. Ursula has, so this is going to be a problem. Hmm, Ursula needs to evade and move as, yeah, that's pretty much all she can do. Evade, move, and investigate to hold off the call of the unknown. So she's got to succeed at this evade test. Right now she's at five versus four. Um, I guess I can go to 6-7 versus 4. Yeah, that seems fine. Okay. Another possibility is I can auto-evade. No, nah, I'd rather auto-evade this guy. He's nasty. Okay, so let's go for it. Uh, we'll start with Ursula, I think. Yeah. So we'll go evade at 7 versus 4. Uh, success. Okay, she's evaded. All right, and then that costs two actions. And then we'll head over here to the Egyptian culture room. I chose that for um, Call of the Unknown, by the way. Arranged as a household scene, this room gives cl includes clothing, tools, and everyday items to give visitors an understanding of what life in ancient Egypt was like. Okay, so we have six, we have uh, four clues here. All right. And if you take the last clue from this location, we also immediately take a, a clue from an adjacent location. Okay, that's handy. All right, so now we'll trigger Ursula's ability. And I guess we'll use field work. So we are at, let's see, four, five, six, seven, eight versus three. Okay, that seems pretty good. Uh, minus four, geez. Okay, so we succeed. All right, get one of the clues. Okay, so now we're gonna make this test, frozen fear. We're currently at four versus three. Three, four versus three. This is kind of important. So let's go up to five, six versus three. Minus two, okay. So we um, get rid of frozen fear. Okay, I still have the pendant I can use. I can either auto discover clue or evade that guy. Let's just go ahead and do that. We'll evade this guy. Okay, Winifred, we need to shoot this acolyte. Currently we are at four versus three to shoot the acolyte. Yeah, I guess that's about as, oh, get lone wolf. Yeah, I guess we'll do that. Yeah, not a lot of options here. Okay. Shoot the Acolyte at four versus three. That's a minus three, but I can take a horror to try again. All right, I'll take a horror. 
to try again. Minus two, that's a failure. Okay. Yeah, being one being one over definitely doesn't cut it here. Okay, so now if I go to punch the guy, well, I guess I gotta evade him now. Evade him at five versus two. Yep, yeah, seems fine. Okay, so that's a success. Okay. Third action. I don't want to use anything you can do better to punch just a punch. So third and fourth actions. I guess I can just take resources and you know, get ready to play this Thompson. Yeah, because it's just way better than this Mauser. Okay. Doop doop. Yeah, that seems fine. Could really go for like a watch this or something right now. All right, so that's all our actions. Um, no hunters to hunt, so this guy will refresh. Okay, refresh, refresh, and now we'll get cards and resources. Okay, uh, practice makes perfect. Okay, not what I need right now, although there is a deduction in there. And watch this. Oh, hey, that's good. All right. New turn. We're going to go to six, seven doom out of 11, and we'll get encounter cards. Okay, we've got a swarm of rats for her to deal with. Okay, another baddie. Not a, that's a problem for her. And we've got it moved. Okay, so she's looking at two horror if she fails this. All right, so right now, what are we at? We are at, let's see, if I do intellect, I'm at three versus three. I think I'm just going to have to take it. Uh, another possibility is I could play you handle this one, get a resource out of that. Yeah, that's fine. I'll have Ursula handle it instead. So Ursula is going to be at four, five versus three. And if she fails, takes two horror. Okay, let's go up to six versus three using this surprise and find. Uh, ooh, that's good. Okay, so she succeeds and she gets a free move. All right. Now it's all before her turn even starts. So I'll take the free move, but if I take the free investigate, I'll get it'll attack, it'll provoke. So do I even want the free move? Yeah, I guess you can go join Winifred. Okay, and I won't take the free investigate because I don't want to provoke from the rats. Okay. So what do we need to do? Um, Winifred needs to, I guess, shoot and and play her Thompson. All right, well, let's get started. Um, let's start with the rats, I think. So, oh, she doesn't get Lone Wolf. That's a problem. Oh, well. We'll start with the rats. She's going to be at four versus one. That seems pretty good. Okay, now's a good time for watch this. So now we're at five versus one. Five minus two. So five minus two is three versus one. We succeed by two. Okay, so we get six resources from this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, uh, we succeeded by at least two. So we're going to get to either refresh the Mauser or gain a resource. I'll refresh the Mauser. And these rats are dealt with. Okay, that was first action. I guess second action, we'll shoot this Acolyte. Now we're at four versus three. That's a low amount. I'll do quick thinking can get us to five versus three. Ugh. It's... Yeah, this um this chaos bag seems to feel like a hard mode chaos bag. Lots of minus threes in here. Yeah, so we can't we want to be three over for anything important. Okay, so we're at four versus three. Is it time to use anything you can do better? Ugh, that seems awful. Yeah, we've got these two coming at us. Okay, we've gotta get the Thompson down. All right, so we'll just use the Mauser, we'll be at four. Let's put in a question mark to be at five versus three and hope for the best. Auto failure, okay. Well, that's a good waste of quick thinking. All right, well, third action hate to say this, but I think I'm just going to have to evade. Evade this Acolyte at 5 versus 2. Uh, success. So he's evaded. Yeah. Fourth action. Let's... Enough of this Mauser nonsense. This thing is not working out as well as I wanted it to. So we'll spend 6. And we'll play a real gun here. Okay. That was all four of her actions. And now Ursula gets to go. Okay. Start of her, her, start of her turn... We'll name this culture room as the uh, location for 
Call of the Unknown. Okay, I don't want this guy jumping on us immediately, so I'll just evade it. Okay. Okay, so it's evaded, and then I'll shuffle these three segments back in. Okay, so now Rook comes online. I can use him. So I'll look at my deck, grab, yeah, we'll grab a segment of Onyx. Okay. I've got two, only two resources to work with, though. All right, so I guess we'll, I guess we can investigate here and then investigate there some more. All right, that seems fine. Okay, so we, fortunately we still, we have all three of our actions. That's good. There's a deduction in the deck. Is it time to dig for it with Practice Makes Perfect? I think it is, actually. Okay, so I'll name here. I'll go... Let's go first action, investigate where we are. So we're going to be at 4, 5, 6. Use the Practice Makes Perfect to go to 7 by committing this deduction. Okay, so now we are at 7 versus 3. That's a good place to be. Minus three is a success. Yeah, I swear this is basically a hard mode bag. Okay, this comes to hand. That's nice. Okay, so how many clues we have left? We need to get two from the sarcophagus room and three from the culture room. Okay, that was action one. Action two will move into the culture room. Okay, trigger field work, use deduction. Okay, so now we're at four, five, six, seven, eight, nine versus three. Auto failure. Okay, that's another one. All right, third action. Well, we got to investigate in order to hold off the call, so we'll be at six versus three. That's a draw again. Okay, thank goodness. We succeed at that, and we get a clue. Okay. All right, so we have. That's all our actions. All right, so we don't have any. Oh, this hunter hunts. Okay, things are starting to look pretty grim for us. We just can't, we just can't seem to pass tests. All right, and then uh, we go to upkeep. Okay, they refresh themselves. Okay, fortunately, um, Winifred has a 45 Thompson, so she'll be at five versus three instead of four. So that should be useful. Okay. Um, cards and resources now. Oh, there we go. That's two of our three segments. And card and resource. Oh, that's nice to see because she's been low on money. Okay, new turn. Seven, eight doom out of eleven, and we'll get encounter cards. Frozen fear. Uh, it's not too damaging right now. And another acolyte. Great, lots of things to shoot. Okay, so we have lots of things to shoot. We have four baddies on the board to deal with. That's just too many. But I think we're gonna have to have Winifred charge in and hope for the best. So I think we're gonna have Winifred go first here. All right, trigger lone wolf. All right, well, let's get started. First action, shoot this acolyte. We're gonna be at five versus three. I don't really have any good ways to boost it, so here we go. Minus one, okay, we got one. Second action, shoot this acolyte at five versus three. Minus one, thank goodness. Okay, he's dealt with. All right, that's two doom dealt with. Uh, third action, we'll move here and engage these two, okay. And fourth action, I think we need to just take out the nastiest one, this assassin. So right now, if we shoot him, we're at five versus four. So I think we're just going to have to play anything you can do better. So we're at 11 versus four. Okay, that is a minus four. Good lord. Okay, so we succeed by three. Uh, that doesn't matter at this point. So he is dealt with. Okay, so that's Winifred. Okay, still got this guy this brigand to deal with, but I don't really have any. I'm just going to have to wait till next turn. Okay. Oh, she ends her turn at the hieroglyph, so she takes a horror. Okay. So, Ursula, we're going to try to get these clues in advance. All right. How are we best to do that? We don't have any multi-cluing right now, and we've got this frozen fear. All right. Well, I'll name this for um, Call of the Unknown. So I think what I'll try to do is get these two clues, trigger this to grab a clue from here, then I'll move in and get that last clue. So I need to go investigate, investigate, move. And succeed at everything. Okay, so right now we're at six versus three for working this out. Um, do I play the second magnifying glass or do I save it for, for the pendant of the queen? 
good question. Yeah, let's just let's just go for it at six versus three. Although if I get a single minus four, I'm in trouble. So let's play this magnifying glass. Yeah, and there's like a bunch of minus fours in here. Okay. So uh, right now we're at seven versus three. First investigate. Oh no, frozen in fear. Crap. We're not gonna be able to do this. Oh well, not much we can do about it. All right, so first action, we'll investigate. Success, grab this clue. Okay, so I've got to spend two actions moving. Yep, because of this. Okay, second and third action, move here. Um, trigger field work, so now we're going to be at four, five, six, seven, eight, nine versus three. Uh, success, grab that clue. Okay, so we still have two left. All right, so end of the turn, test frozen in fear. We are at three, four versus three don't want to burn my segment, so I'm just going to have to take it straight up. That's a minus three. Okay, so that fails. Okay, I don't want to take a horror to try again. Okay, so that was everything. Now we go to enemy phase. Uh, the brigand hunts, well, the brigand attacks, so that deals or deals Winifred a damage. Okay, and now, nope, no other hunters. So now we go to upkeep. Okay, card up and resource. So we are one resource short of being able to get the pen, the seg, the pendant back out. Okay, and oh, that's nice to see in case of a really nasty treachery. Okay, new turn. Eight doom out of eleven. Glad we got rid of those two acolytes. Okay, what do we got? It moved. Okay, so we're gonna have to test um, intellect to avoid some horror. So we are currently at five versus three on this. Yep, just gonna have to. I'll burn this fingerprint kit since it's going to get recycled anyway. Six versus three. Okay, success, that's dealt with. What have we got over here? False lead, okay, it just gained surge. Um, I could play you let you handle this one. Oh, right, she wasn't supposed to gain that resource. She steals it. And it's not worth it, I think. Okay, so that'll surge. What do we got? Offer of power. You must either draw two cards and place two doom on the current agenda or take two horror. Oh, she's not in a good position to take two horror. So I think I'll play you handle this one. Send it over to Ursula and the brigand steals the resource. Okay, what do we got here? I don't want to draw two cards, so I think she's just gonna have to take two horror. Or rather Mr. Rook. Uh, Mr. Rook will take one of them and she'll take the other one. Okay. So what do we do now? Ursula needs to get the last these last two clues. Winifred needs to deal with the brigand. Fortunately, um, she has two shots, so it should be fine. All right, so I'm going to see what happens when we advance. So we're going to have Ursula go first. We're going to name Egyptian Culture Room for our Call of the Unknown. Uh, we're going to spend two actions to move. Okay, so now we're going to investigate at seven versus three. Feeling good. Okay, so I get this clue. Then I trigger the Culture Room to get this last clue off the Sarcophagus Room. Okay, and then I spend all eight of them yeah, there's eight clues there, isn't there? Yeah, I spend all eight of them to advance. Okay, we're getting there. Ladies and gentlemen, we're getting there. Piece identified. Having sifted through the bits and pieces of the museum's Egyptian objects, you've put together a fairly good idea of what it is you're looking for. You spy the artifact room carved into the far wall. You need to claim the Eye of Horus post-haste. To the artifact room, add the text, action investigate. If you succeed, claim the Eye of Horus. Okay. Goal in sight. I know what I'm looking for, you say, biting your lips. In your mind's eye, you can see the relic. Now to just go find it. You can almost envision yourself already in Cairo. If you acquire... So we just need to acquire the high Eye of Horus, and it looks like it is in the artifact room. Okay, so we've spent two of our actions moving. Okay, I think what we'll do is we can... So if we... So we only have one action left. If we use it to move, that seems like a decent plan. Okay, so we'll move back, and I guess we'll, that ends our turn. Yep, we'll test willpower. Yeah, we've dealt with Call of the Unknown. So we are at three, four versus three, and there's not much we can do to boost it. Oh, thank goodness. All right, it is discarded. All right, so next turn we'll just um, toss out the Tegmin of Onyx and uh, use that to um, work on the artifact room. Okay, so that was Ursula. Oh, I probably should have used field work on that. Oh, it's this phase. Okay, so it didn't matter. All right, over to Winifred. I'll um, just spend two actions shooting the brigand. 
All right, first action, shoot at five versus two. Okay, that's good, two damage. Okay, second action, do it again, five versus two. Minus one and draw again. Oh, good. oh dear. I remember, I'm gonna remember Lone Wolf. Okay, so what are we at? We are at a minus four, and if we fail, we lose an action. Yeah, um, I guess I could take a horror to try again. So this one goes back in the bag. Okay, this is an awkward situation. So I'll put that back in. All right, try again. Okay, so that's a minus three, which hits on the nose. Okay, thank. Oh dear, I broke the bag. Great. Okay, let me uh, let me fix this, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, we're back. I've just uh, repaired the chaos bag. Okay, so this brigand is defeated, and we gain the three resources that she had. So those go away. She goes away. Okay, so that's two actions spent. And we have an empty Thompson. OK, so we have two actions left. So let's start heading into the artifact room, I think. Um, let's also draw some cards. So third action, play easy mark. OK, that's handy. And fourth action, will move to join Ursula. OK, so we've dealt with all the baddies, except for this one that's worth victory points. But I'm not concerned about victory points right now. We're kind of hanging on here. We've only got a couple more points of horror left before we go insane. All right, so. Now we go to enemy phase. There are no enemies on the board. That's pretty good. Oops, sorry about that. All right, and now we'll do cards and resources. Okay, field work. Okay, we got an empty deck. Okay, so we got a. So um, we're going to be taking another horror from. Yeah, we're going to be taking another horror here pretty soon. We'll just have it go on Mr. Rook. Actually, another two horror. Okay, and over here we got a card and a resource. Oh, thank goodness, another weapon. Okay. New turn. Nine doom out of 11. All right, we really got to get moving. Fortunately, we have a pretty clear road. OK, knocked over. We're just going to fail this test and take a damage. <laughs> of course. So we get a damage and a horror. Um, we have to take a direct horror, and then Rook takes the damage. OK, that's dealt with. All right, over here, what do we have? Crypt chill. Well, if we fail this, we're just going to lose our empty Thompson. So yep, we fail that, and we lose our empty Thompson. No problem at all. OK, so I think I'm going to have, I guess I'll have Ursula go first so Winifred can get her. Well, she doesn't even need Lone Wolf anymore. There might be like a bad guy in there. So I think I'm going to have Winifred go first. All right, first action, play Derringer. OK, okay we'll give it some bullets. All right, second action, we'll head into the artifact room. Egyptian relics line the shelves of an anteroom. If what you're after would be anywhere in the museum, it would be here. OK, what do we got? Six shroud, 10 shroud. Holy snaps. OK, when this location is revealed, attach the set aside locked door to it. OK, so it comes with a locked door. OK. So it's 10 shroud and it's locked. Two actions to investigate at Shroud 1. If you succeed, permanently lower the Shroud of this room by 1. Shroud may not go below 1. OK, so you can spend two actions to lower that from 10 to 9, and then 8, and then 7. That's a lot of actions. OK, and OK, but we need to investigate the claim the Eye of Horus. OK, so Winifred's here. We can have Winifred deal with the locked door, I think. She can pick the lock. OK, so that was her second action. So we have two actions left. Let's pick the lock. So we're going to be at five versus four to pick the lock. I can't boost it. Yeah, and if I used overpower um, for strength, I'd be at five versus four anyway. So third action, pick the lock. Oh, that's a success. Very nice. Good, very nice to see. OK, and then last action. There's really not much she can do here. I guess draw. Yeah, draw. She can look for icons to help out with the investigate test. OK, that's good to see. All right, Ursula. I guess she's going to be take. oh gosh, she's in trouble because she's going to be taking some horror from Call of the Unknown because we need to not, that's such a tough investigate. All right, what do I do? I guess we just go for it. Um, Segment of Onyx is not going to help. Let's see, what will the Pendant of the Queen do to help us? Because we don't need to discover any clues. We can just, I guess she'll get a free move into there. I guess. OK, well, there is one thing she can do to hold off the call. If I go, if I name like here as the um, as location for 
uh, Call of the Unknown. I can move there, investigate it, okay? And then I can use the uh, Pendant of the Queen to zip over here. Okay, that seems like a plan. Okay, let's do that. So that way it'll hold off the call, which is we desperately need to do. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so I'm gonna spend all three resources. So another possibility, is if I don't do this segment of Onyx plan, I could go all in and use field work. Okay, so if she uses field work, she can head in, investigate. She'd be at sh against Shroud 10. All right, what would I be at? I'd be at four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Oh, and then I can just throw everything into it and hope for the best. All right, we're going for it. We're gonna throw everything into this test. All right, so first action, play field work. I'll name the uh, artifact room for Call of the Unknown, just in case. Yeah, I guess, I guess we're going all in. All right, so that's our first action. Second action, we'll move. Well, I guess we can do everything on the third action. I don't want to draw. That would be bad, because I have to reshuffle everything. Yeah, I guess um, second action will move in. OK, and we'll trigger Ursula's ability. OK, so we're going to investigate this place. Uh, we're going to use both field works. So we are at 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 versus 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 versus 10. We're just going to go for it. Oh, thank God. It's not an autofail. OK, so we have found the Eye of Horus, and we advanced to Act 3B. Victory, you did it. Your face burns feverishly as you put on the eye. You're not sure if you'll ever want to take it off again. As elated as you are, you know that you are by no means done. Remembering Dr. Morgan's urgency, you make a quick exit out the back door. Within an hour, you are aflight on board a private charter direct to Cairo. Proceed to scenario resolution. Oh my gosh, that... This this scenario is rough, man. <laughs> there's a there's there's a lot of. Uh, it seems like the scenario was designed for um, specialists, like it's designed for Mark and Rex. And I think my evidence here is that there are a lot of difficulty four, like lots of difficulty threes, lots of difficulty fours. So we've got this Golem's difficulty four. This is difficulty four. This is well, I don't even know what to say about this. Difficulty 10. That's so many. Okay, and then we also had things like the Assassins were at... Like, the Assassins are at difficulty 4 and difficulty 5 to evade. So, a lot of high difficulties. That in this bag. This this bag, this bag is brutal. Look at this. Minus 3s. Minus 3 on the tablet and the Elder thing. Um, Cultus, which is often a minus 4. And then you got the Skull, which is just mean. Alright, so what do we got here? Because our bag, we've got Let's just line it up here so I can show you what I'm talking about. So we've got all the sign, which is good. We've got all auto fails. Okay, so we've got, we had a plus one, but we have zero, minus one. Okay, so we have some minus ones, we have some minus twos, and then we have like a parade of minus threes here. Yeah, we have a parade of minus threes. We've got minus fours. These two are sometimes minus fours. And then this is kind of like its own thing because it just, yeah, because you got to draw again. So you can see we've kind of, kind of, we've kind of got a lopsided bag here. Like if it's your last action, look at this. Like like uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So six out of thirteen are, um, oh, six out of thirteen of the non-binary ones are, you know, minus three or worse. Yeah, it's kind of rough. Yeah, that's a that's a rough bag. This is like a hard mode bag, is what this is. This is not a standard mode bag. This is this is hard mode. I wonder what hard mode looks like. Oh my god, minus fives. Jeez. Yeah, I think um, yeah, I think it's a little overtuned on the difficulty. You know, for just the bag. And then you got it. Like I said, you've got a lot of um, you got a lot of cards that are very um. They're very much played a specialist, not generalist. Like Locked Door, difficulty four. Assassin, difficulty four. Crypt Chill, difficulty four. Um, difficulty three, that is, I guess that's kind of gentle. Um, difficulty four, evade. Let's see. Difficulty four. Difficulty three, difficulty three, difficulty three. Um, no, they're just rats. Yeah, so. Notice how there's so m there's a lot of difficulty threes and fours. There's not. There's, it's not like a typical Arkham scenario where you have some difficulty twos just to like like spread in there just to um, 
you know, so you don't have to be like a, a specialist. Okay, well, that's uh, it's an interesting it's an interesting way of uh, it's an interesting way of um, I guess like finding a it's an interesting way of um, dialing the difficulty. It's um it's kind of different from your typical Ar Arkham scenario where your typical Arkham scenario has like a mix of difficulties, especially a lot of difficulty like a lot of difficulty to um, locations. Well, you'll notice the difficulty two locations here are not worth a lot of clues. Um, often enough, what you'll see is you'll see something that's worth victory points, and it, what it won't have is this many clues. It won't have three investigator number of clues and be victory one. It, like Something like this would be you know, shroud four, but one per investigator number of clues. Yeah, I guess it's just a long-winded of saying. Long-winded way of saying is this feels like hard mode. All right, so we've made it. Let's go to the scenario resolution. Okay, so what happens here? We don't have any uh, resolution text, but instead we record in our adventure log whether we have acquired the Eye of Horus, which we did, and then we record in our adventure log whether we have defeated any museum cards. We did. Okay, so we don't get a bonus victory point from that. All right, I'm going to... I guess I'll total up all the doom that has been advanced, that has been placed on agendas. Okay, so I guess it's like a time clock. And then we get experience equal to the victory points in the victory pile, and we go to... Scenario 2, Adventures in Cairo. All right, so how many victory points did we get? We didn't take out any bad guys. What did we get? We just got victory 1, 2, that's it. So I guess in the end, we just get we get 3 XP out of all this. Okay, so, um, oh my gosh, we made it. And uh, we've got 3 XP to hopefully patch up our decks. I think Winifred's deck really needs some work. She was having trouble dealing with bad guys, but... Um, I'll see how it goes. All right, so thank you so much for watching if you've made it this far, and uh, tune in next time for Adventures in Cairo.